Hey, what's up? In this episode, we're gonna look at all the new releases in the Mi Home Store. We're gonna cover the Mi Jia release event late June, but besides that, a lot, and I mean a lot more has come out. They've almost released new products every other day, so I might have to go over some products quite quickly, so let's go. On the Mi Jia event, uh, Xiaomi announced the 9Bot Plus, which is a significant upgrade of the regular 9Bot. It's been uh, redesigned and uses a different type of casing. It comes with a remote control following the trend of some popular powered skateboards. The 9Bot Plus can actually be equipped with a stabilized camera and this allows you to shoot some really smooth stabilized HD footage while you're on the road. It's coming in at about 3500 RMB so it's a little bit more pricey than Xiaomi's regular 9Bot model. It does look like an improved version over the first release both in design and functionality. Its improved battery should be able to take you 35 km which to me seems really really decent. On the Mija event Xiaomi also announced their own toothbrush as well. It's a Bluetooth toothbrush which sounds quite funny. You can pair it with a phone or tablet to set up its brush times and sensitivity, check its battery status and most likely it will have some sort of gamified rewarding system for brushing your teeth. I should have had that when I was younger. I believe this toothbrush is probably manufactured by Sucare who already have this great looking toothbrush out in the Mi store. As opposed to the Sucare toothbrush this is really a Xiaomi branded toothbrush. Coming in at 199 RMB, it's priced very competitive. And then the one you've been waiting for, Xiaomi's HD laser projector. This laser projector has a very short focal length, allowing it to be placed between 5 and 50 centimeters away from the wall. It looks incredibly bright and seems to project very sharp and crisp images. It's got some onboard Dolby audio and it uses custom DLP technology developed by Texas Instruments. Its laser should last for 25,000 hours, so when you would use it for like 3 hours per day on average, it should last for about 22 years. It's capable of projecting up to a very impressive 3 meter wide images and it's equipped with 3 HDMI ports, audio output, SPDIF, Ethernet and Wi-Fi. In China it should come with Mi TV packed with loads of content and from the presentation it looks like Xiaomi has worked hard on getting voice control and the corresponding AI in the remote as well. Coming in at 9999 RMB it's certainly not cheap but considering that other similar cinema projectors come in at about 8 times the price it's actually very very well priced. The next one on the list has been released with a soft launch early July and this is the second in the range of buildable toys with robotics and electrics. You can uh, build all kinds of different vehicles with the set as well and you can program it to drive and move with the app. Coming in at $4.99 it's uh, not very cheap but considering it's got a motor, a processor, a really decent battery and it can be voice controlled with the app it's actually very well priced. Also new in store is this uh, new version of the smartwatch for kids. It's allowing kids to communicate with voice messages and small calls with their parents and it's got GPS tracking features to see your kids whereabouts on the map. You do need a micro sim card for these features to work. It has a 1.3 inch touch display, front facing camera and a uh, 730 mAh battery that should last for about 6 days with normal usage. With tons of security features, triple encryption and what seems to be a really nicely designed housing, it seems like a very safe product. It's got some incredible specs for a watch that just hit the store for only 399 RMB. Another unannounced product silently hit the store. This small amplifier looks like an amazing product for anyone that's familiar dealing with earbuds that go into your bag or pocket and this device can actually be clipped on your bag or shirt and it's got a built-in micro SD card reader as well as Bluetooth connectivity. Coming in at only 99 RMB it looks very promising. As expected several new Akara products hit the Xiaomi stores over the last weeks as well. The first one is this great looking Akara motion sensor that can detect motion and light. It comes with a small stand and is in store now for 89 RMB. The next one was this Akara industrial grade temperature sensor that can measure the temperature, humidity and the air pressure. It looks really nicely designed in line with all the other Akara products and it just hit the store for 79 RMB. I might be doing some videos about these Akara products and give a few of these away soon. This small but super nice looking USB powered fan just hit the Mi store at only 40 dBA. It should be very silent and it should actually be quite powerful as well. Coming in at 68 RMB this looks like a sweet little gadget to have. Next up is this muscle stimulator massage device. You can basically stick that on your body and it helps your muscles recover by massaging and it's out in the store now for 99 RMB. 
So last minute I had to quickly plug in this new Xiaomi night light. It looks like a very nicely designed light that has a built-in motion sensor to trigger this light with. Currently sold out but soon back in store for 49 renminbi. And then Xiaomi's crowdfunding platform turned 2 last week and they've released over 100 products on the crowdfunding over the last 2 years. They've celebrated that with this limited edition notebook and some special gift. This crowdfunding was already sold out in a blink of an eye and I actually missed out on that one. I really want to do a video about this one really really bad. Then there was this uh, crowdfunding campaign for these Hello Air earbuds. They seem to have a really good audio quality and look super flexible. They're available now through the crowdfunding for 2.99 renminbi. Next up, these Bluetooth thermometers for babies just got officially released in the store. It's coming in at 149 renminbi and I did a video about this one a few weeks ago if you want to check that out. Also the Wi-Fi enabled gas detector now did make its way to the store and after a soft launch you can now get that for 199 renminbi. Xiaomi's smart rear view mirror was crowdfunded several months ago. It's basically a rear view mirror with GPS navigation, voice control and a HD camera. And it just got out in the store for only $12.99. Then for the home products, as you could guess, some stuff has been released here as well. Starting with these notebook pouches from 90 coming in for 100 renminbi for a set. Next was this crowdfunding campaign for a new umbrella. Then there were these socks coming in at the 89 renminbi for 7 pairs. Then we had 5 different types of tea and a whole set of all the flavors for 119 renminbi. I mean, if you make these, why not sell this, right? Then there was a buffalo leather bat mat and it was a crowdfunding campaign for this set of floor tiles for babies coming in as a set for 169 and a complete baby outfit for only 139 renminbi. I'm not 100% sure if this is new but I think it was. I got in this Xiaomi branded backpack for only 99 renminbi. This is a really nice bag to have. I also got in this uh, wallet, these notebooks and uh, pens as well and uh, yeah they're all Xiaomi's. Over the last few months I've been using the Mi Jia Yo Ping app or roughly translated the Mi Taste app. This app is a more conveniently designed and laid out version of the Mi Home Store where you can uh, find all the new products and crowdfunding campaigns as well. So for those of you who want to get that you can download that right here. As always thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon.